हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल आज हम करेंगे यूनिट थर्टी डिजेक्शन एंड नोट एज एन ऑटोबायोग्राफिकल पोएम ये एम ई वन है एंड ब्लॉक सिक्स है लेट अस स्टार्ट बोथ वर्ड्स वर्थ एंड कॉलरेज फेल्ट ऑलमोस्ट साइमल्टेनियसली दैट देयर पोइटिक पावर्स वर ऑन द डेक्लाइन दिस अनर्व दैम बिकॉज द टोटल आइडेंटिटी वॉज इन बींग poets the loss of that identity would mean spiritual death of them decline in that one talent made them apprehensive of death it caused fear wordsworth tried to overcome fear by turning to religio philosophical explanation of the soul's journey and to a large extent revived mental strength again college also turned to philosophy but he thought that it was a poor compromise and it deeper it deepened his frustration cm baura rightly points out the problem which concerned both friends was that of a poetical inspiration each felt that his hold on it was dangerous and asked why this was so precarious dangerous ya khatam hone wala is tarah se नेगेटिव इफेक्ट डालने वाला वर्सवर्थ फेस्ड द प्रॉब्लम इन द फर्स्ट थ्री स्टेंजास ऑफ द ओट एंड देन अबंडंट इट फॉर एटलीस्ट टू ईयर्स कॉलेज स्लोअर परहैप्स टू स्टार्ट बट क्विकर वन ही हैड स्टार्टेड टोल्ड ऑफ इस क्राइसिस इन द पोएम विच ही आफ्टरवर्ड्स कॉल्ड डिजेक्शन द फर्स्ट full version of dejection dejection was called verses to sara in this address to sara uh, sara hutchinson there was reference to some private matters which was omitted later on the final version was printed in the morning post on october 4 versworth's wedding day college tried to sincerely tell his friends of the psychological crisis he was undergoing even before wordsworth completed his oath coleridge gave full and powerful expression of his feelings and there was as much of appeal in it that uh, sorry much uh, so much of appeal to in it that it touched all and wordsworth could would not escape involvement and try to console coleridge and in the process expounded a philosophy from which means started a philosophy ya nijat kiya unhone avishkar kiya kisi philosophy ka from which he also tried to derive psychological sustenance dejection gives an gives us an inkling of college's mind means thoda hame andaza lag jata hai the images are of night darkness howling storm crescent moon viper thought dark dream devils lonesome wild uh, devils yowl y u l e and lonesome wild etc it suggests despair of the worst kind but there is one redeeming factor ek achhi baat bhi hai his realization that joy is the most important thing in life and it comes like a fountain from within He is happy to see this redeeming joy in his lady, as the bliss of the nightmare is the ideal kids <laughs> would try to reach and achieve, and finally re- uh, realize that it is beyond his merit and sure. So is the joy of the lady. Coleridge's ideal, he knows, is impossible for him to achieve. despite the autobiographical element despite the powerful personal note coleridge has succeeded in universalizing his experience dejection is about a human experience more than an experience of coleridge himself perhaps every work of art has its origin and roots in some personal feelings and experience but the more an artist uh, artist transcends it the more successful his art becomes coleridge has found proper objective correlated for the emotion he intends to communicate uh, objective correlative means ek zariya <laughs> as a romantic poem 
Though the theme of uh, dejection and oath is the failure of romantic imagination and, sub and subsequent grief on account of that, the poem is one of the finest examples of romantic poetry. In emotional depth, passionate feeling, intensity of experience and expression, selection of images, lyrical flow, structural arrangement, etc., it is a representative poem of the Romantic Revival. The great romantic romantics, particularly Wordsworth and Coleridge, made their lives the subject matter of their poetry. The autobiographical element is very much pronounced in Wordsworth's Tinter Nebbe. The prelude and ode on intimations of morality among Coleridge's poem, Dejection, is most overtly autobiographical. The tone of moralizing is very prominent in Wordsworth. This romantic element of detecticism is not so prominent in Coleridge, though the rhyme of the ancient mariner has a clear moral in it. The moral is implicit in dejection. Joy redeems, and so one should try to overcome grief and be joyous. But the joy is jati hai. The poem opens with a strange reference. The extract from a ballad quoted at the very outset say that if the old moon is in the lap of the new moon, a storm is in the offing. The whole of the moon is faintly visible because a bit of sunlight reaches it, being reflected from the earth. On its edge, the crescent moon, crescent new moon looks like a bright cord holding the moon as if in its lap. The connection between this sight and a possible storm is entirely magical or superstitious. But the romantic imagination of the poet accepts it as something that inevitably happens. Then the outward storm becomes an inner gale. Inner gale means gale means strong wind. Or the poet wants that there should be a big stir in his mind so that he comes out of the lethargic barrenness which had which had deprived him of creativity almost uh, means ex uh, sorry the external storm become an inner fury and the poet wants to be wants to make use of it to wo bolte hain ki might now perhaps they want it impulse give might start dull this dull pain and make it move and live this relationship between the external and internal, outer nature and inner nature, is a romantic dis uh, romantic belief. The subjective approach that the external world is nothing more than what we think of it, that human imagination is the most important thing, is essentially romantic. The subjective approach that the external world is nothing more than what we think of it is essentially romantic. O lady, isme bola, O lady, we receive but we what we give, and in our life alone does nature live. Ours is her wedding garment, ours her shroud. The objective approach that the quality of the external world is independent of what man thinks of it is classic in classical in spirit. Coleridge's view is just the opposite. In dejection, the theme of the poem is just the mood of the poet, a mental state. This emphasis on a psychological condition giving mind so much of importance is a romantic trait. So this emphasis on a psychological condition is a romantic trait. There is a contradiction the of uh, there is a contradiction of course the poet so says that he has lost the power to feel but the entire poem is an expression of great anguish intense feeling about a troubled mind so it is an apprehension it is an it is it is a worry of loss more than real loss asli mein loss nahi hua hai lekin unko chinta hai ki loss ho jayega the poet wants that a storm should come to unsettle him from his dull, lethargic state and make him more dynamic, even if 
इट वुड मीन डिवस्टेशन सीधा सा ये वही मतलब है कि उनका लॉस हुआ नहीं है लेकिन उनको लग रहा है कि लॉस हो जाएगा तो वो जो वो है ना लथार्जिक हो गए हैं तो उनको लग रहा है कि कोई स्ट्रॉम आना चाहिए कि उनको झकझोड़ के रख दे और उनकी जो लॉस है वो ना हो उनको समझ में आ जाए कि हाँ मुझे लॉस नहीं करना है अपना या मेरे मेरे माइंड को ये समझ में आ जाए कि हाँ लॉस नहीं होना चाहिए तो मैं अलर्ट हो जाऊँ बोलने का मतलब ये है बट देर इज़ ग्रेट डायनामिक इन द पोएम डायनामिज़म इन द पोएम एज सजेस्टेड बाई द म्यूजिक द टोन द इमेजरी इन इज़ लव फॉर द लेडी कॉलरिज एक्सप्रेस इज ग्रेटिट्यूड टू एंड लव फॉर ऑल दोज ह्यूमन बींग्स हुज हर्ट इज़ फुल ऑफ लव एंड जॉय तो अप्रिसिएशन है इसमें उन लोगों के लिए जो कि प्यार से भरे हुए हैं या जॉय से भरे हुए हैं पर्सनल अप्रिसिएशन टर्नस इन टू रोमेंटिक ह्यूमनिज्म एंड अप्रिसिएशन ऑफ द बेसिक क्वालिटीज एंड वैल्यूज ऑफ लाइफ ग्लोरियस एंड डिवाइन लव वेट्स अस टू नेचर बट इट इज अनड्रेम्ड of the uh, of the sensual and the proud this hatred for the sensual and the proud is very much in the tradition of romantic poetry wo sensual cheezon ko nahi mante hain aur proud ko nahi mante hain romantic poetry wale poet colrich like wordsworth in his immortality ode <laughs> wistfully looks back and remembers those days when things were much better more glorious and without any sense of deprivation this memory of the lost paradise is romantic in spirit the poet believes that as we move away from our uh, paradisal state of innocence we keep on losing our spirit of imagination we try to compensate ek paradise lost se wahi hai na ke jab innocence khatam ho jati hai to experience aa jata hai to innocence humne lose kar di इमेजिनेशन की पावर भी लूज कर दी वी ट्राई टू कम्पेंसेट द लॉस विद आर एक्विजिशन ऑफ नॉलेज बट दे कैन बी नो कम्पेंसेशन इन दिस वाइटल थिंग द क्रिएटिव इमेजिनेशन विच एनेबल्स अस टू डिस्कवर द डिवाइन इन नेचर इन द सेवंथ पार्ट ऑफ द पोएम द पोएट हिमसेल्फ बिकम्स ऑलमोस्ट डेलीरियस अ मैड ल्यूनेटिक एंड इन इमेजरी फ्री ऑफ ऑल इनहिबिशन ट्राइज टू कैच द जेंशियल स्पिरिट ऑफ द विंड which can remove all viper thoughts the sudden outburst softens down in a tragic calm at the end of the section where he refers to the tender lay of a little child this part of the poem reminds us of the great romantic poem of shelley o to the west wind and the final section of an appreciation of the spiritual quality of the lady whom the poet adores the tone is now subdued as if tempered by love and this redemption in love as in the ancient mariner is romantic dejection then excels as a romantic poem so yahan hamara ye video finish ho raha hai pura unit finish ho gaya ab Uh, अगर आपको एक्चुअली कई बार कुछ चीज़ें समझ नहीं आती ना जैसे मैं रीड करती हूँ आपको मेरे पिछले वीडियो आप जाके देखेंगे ना तो आपको सुनेंगे तो आपको काफ़ी चीज़ें वैसे ही क्लियर हो जाएंगी चलो थैंक यू सो मच